Hi there, Aries. This is Jeffrey, and that is a, an airplane. <laughs> so maybe you're going on a trip. Uh, this is Ripe Color. This is your reading for October 9th through uh, the 16th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer uh, IET, which is a healing living energy, which can help you to uh, move energy, transform energy, change energy. And um, please visit my website, redcolor.com. I have beautiful handmade scarves, t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera, available for purchase. And my little mini message is be excited. That's what I heard. So that's what I'm delivering. Be excited. So it's almost like allow yourself to be excited. It's like, <laughs> be excited. <laughs> I like making those voices. All right. Yep. Here we go. All right, we have the king. The king is excited, right? Because she's like, I got a plan. It's creative. I'm ready to go forward with it. I'm going to take full responsibility for it. That's what he does. You know, this is like the king of responsibility, okay? Because I've let go of an old way of thinking. I've let go of an old habit. I've seen things from in a different light. And I know that I'm going to be fine, that I have the high ground, you know? But sometimes, you know, it's like we tell ourselves, like in terms of being excited, it's like, oh, well, I really want to do da da da. And then you know, our own thoughts come in or other people's thoughts. That's why sometimes it's best to keep things to yourself. You go, oh, well, you can do that. You know, it's not too hard. And it's like, I have the high ground. I'm confident. Uh, I have a new, I've let go of a certain way of thinking, or maybe I've let go of well, people in my life. This is what I'm getting right now. People in my life who are saying who are naysayers and it's like i have the high ground i'm confident and i'm using my intuition i'm really listening to myself i'm really listening to myself and i'm being compassionate to myself and this is a new balance for me this is blessed this is a new balance for me and it's blessed this is Raphael. this is a healing you know after the catastrophe you know, and the catastrophe, I mean, it's something it, like a lot of times that's unexpected, but <clears throat> it's interesting because it hits the crown chakra and it, it's really fascinating because I, I always read both of these. I, I read this as the crown chakra, ideas from heaven in a way, right? I read this as the crown chakra, like complete and utter change of thinking. It's like, uh, like I, I'm totally into my new passion you know everything else isn't like this is the thing and you know you're aries you get really enthusiastic about stuff anyway yeah the brand new idea the past that doesn't exist anymore you know i've got a clear focus and a new trajectory and i'm going on it because i you know i feel like i have the high ground and let go of the way of thinking and listening to myself and being compassionate to myself and taking full responsibility my third king my third king so it's like you definitely can do this you definitely so be excited you know mm -hmm. it's like my, my so kings are about knowledge and i have knowledge of security and safety knowledge of uh, my emotional state and other people's emotional state and knowledge of intuition and knowledge of compassion and knowledge of passion knowledge of instinct so it's like you have three kings like and you know kings have obviously a masculine energy it's like take the bull by the horns and like you know, guided to where exactly you want to go. That's the energy. So be excited. Okay. Toward your dreams. Toward your dreams. Choose your dream and go after it. Like it's really, yeah, like, you know, I know I have that enthusiasm and I read a lot like this most weeks, you know, in a way. But wow, three kings and the angel of healing right in the middle and the high ground and a new idea. And you've let go. You've let go. As a matter of fact, this is also the crown chakra. As a matter of fact, this is also the crown chakra. So it's like it just came down. You know, sometimes, you know, we think, I mean, look, this is just my opinion. But sometimes we think it's like, oh, I have this brand new idea. It's like sometimes these great new ideas, these brand new spanking, you know, bright light bulb ideas come from heaven. Come from our higher self, you know. This it's like it's so big. 
It's like, wow. And, I, you know, I have it three times in the reading. Four, really. There you go. It's lovely. Be excited. Go for it. You have the high ground. And, you know, the tower comes up. The tower comes up. You know. It's, it's almost like a bump in the road. Like a bump in the road. That's the way it feels. Blessings. And, you know, I do a different order every week. Right. So uh, I do it by element. And I decided this week it ends on fire because I wanted to end it with like energy, enthusiasm, uh, passion, instinct. And I'm glad I did. And it's been an incredible week for really all awesome, signs, which is kind of rare. Blessings.